Open field. First move, computer one. Draw card. Begin duel. Computer one, mana charge. Computer two, draw card. Mana charge. Mana release. Summon. When Lizard Archer kicks off this set two fire battle. I believe these guys attack twice. Draw card. Mana charge. Mana release. Yes, they do. Summon. Flailmonger. That's an early flailmonger. Computer two. Damn. Draw card. Mana charge. Um, because it's a Byleth and it's been summoned to a Byleth field, it's allowed to be summoned before Summon. the summoning lock. Three foxes! are going to do perform their little bit of fuckery, which is... When tree foxes are summoned, rotate the enemy creature directly in front of it 180 degrees. That means the poor flail mongers literally looking at the left side of a board edge. He's a bit useless there, and he's going to probably remain like that until it's rotated at least. Summon. <laughs> I'm all axe flower, axe thrower even, not flower. <laughs> They're going to cover the blind spot of uh, this flower monger. At least he is protected. Unlock. Off comes the summoning lock. There isn't that many creatures in this deck that actually use summoning locks. I think there's literally two Byleths, and that's it. Oh, there's three. Charmin Zolder is... is locked as well, but... He's free now. Battle of the Axe Throwers. One is buffed, one isn't. They're obviously the ones that are not buffed, as they were not summoned to a fire space. Mana charge. <coughs> Both creatures also have quickness because they're lizards. Computer one. Draw card. But it gets cancelled out when both have it. And it just goes to summoning Mana player release. advantage. Summon. There's a golem. Adds one to its attack for each space, which is currently empty. Attack. It's currently hitting for four. That's slightly unfortunate for the lizards. But they have quickness, so they will get first. At least get to deal two damage to it before this happens. Ouch. Not the nicest thing to deal with. Gets rid of the lizards. Golem's down to one. It gains plus one because there's now another empty space. That'll keep being buffed and nerfed as the battle goes on. Just don't summon in front of it and you're okay. Behemoth adds two to its attack half the time. Will it buff? It will! Also gains a new attack profile, which is in front of it and to either side. Golem's not happy about it. The dog is. It's only got one target, so three damage. Right up the butt. Which of course is amplified by the blind spot for an extra damage. Mana charge. <coughs> bye bye, Flowmonger. Probably the most useless flower monger I've seen in a while. Computer one, draw 
card. Mana charge. Mana release. Tree foxes are such a great counter to most things. Very cheap and they just spin it round. Make it useless. Leapfrog boss! Attack. When Leapfrog Boss is destroyed, your opponent loses one mana for each wood field. You can kill it, but you're going to lose two mana. It's going to take out the foxes. Mana charge. Someone in advantage still with Computer 2. Which the golem is happy about for some reason. Draw hmm. It's just happy there's empty spaces. Mana release. Summon. Comes relentless skeleton. Attack. When relentless skeleton is on a non-earth field, it gains resurrection. takes out the golem. And for anyone that doesn't know, resurrection, when a creature has resurrection and it dies, the game will give you an opportunity to summon the same creature, if there is another one in the deck, straight onto that field. There are two relentless skeletons in the deck, so it's entirely possible. So if those die, Computer 2 can elect to summon the other one if it's got it in its hand. Summon. Another Vezar Golem. That's a very dead leapfrog boss. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. And slap. Mana charge. Mana release. So because Computer 2 killed the Leapfrog boss, it would steal a number of mana from you equal to the number of earth uh, of wood fields. But it only had one mana on Computer 2, so it couldn't steal both. Summon. Ideally, you'd like to kill it when you've got no mana left. Summon the creature, which takes you down to zero mana. That kills it. You don't lose any mana. <coughs> Attack. Part ball axe throwers coming for the skeletons. They're dead. Resurrection has a chance to trigger. Does Computer Two have the other relentless skeleton? It does not. Mana charge. Mana release. Summon. Or it might have, but he just decided I'm not going to put them in front of those axe throwers because they'll just one shot it again. So let's make him at least summon for it. Mana charge. Mana release. Bell. <coughs> Wishes of Goalie. Field Quake. Any one field. Just going to flip it to its opposite side. So that five field now becomes Biolith, which means these lads will lose their plus two bonus of being stood on fire. Mana release. Summon. The bogus warrior. These lads attacking in two directions at once. Attack. I also have resurrection, but there's only one of this card in the deck, so that's not going to happen. It did, however, kill two targets. Very pot. Mana charge. Mana charge. Resurrection would trigger there again for those skeletons, but the other one's dead, so that's not happening. 
computer too. Draw. <coughs> Excuse me. Mana charge. Mana release. Summon. All the part Molex throwers are coming today. I think that's at least three we've seen. Not sure if it's four. Attack. And that's going to be the other one's dead. They only had two health. Mana charge. Computer one, draw card. I would be tempted to take out the warriors here if I can. I'm, I would target it anyway because it's the only one I probably could kill. But oh, this is brave. Attack. Relentless skeletons attacking the bear morph. Now they're not going to kill it. Ah, a bit of friendly fire is in order, I see. Two damage to you, three damage to the golem. Exploiting a multi-attack creature. Attack its own kind. Golem's down to two, then. I'm not sure if it's worth it. It would be if you could cleave that bottom row for two damage each. Mana release. Summon. Then guard recruit adds two to its attack if the target creature is on a water field. Which these okay. Novogus warriors are definitely on water. So the recruits, which normally hit for nothing, will now hit for two. Down goes the warriors. Mana charge. Check the computer too. Check. No creatures on the board for computer one. This is going to be a very, very Mana long charge. uphill battle if it's going to win this. Mana release. That is a big cost. Summon. That probably is a commander. <laughs> Maybe not. It's Shaman Zolder. Attack. And he's going to attack the bear morph. So Shaman Zolder is magic. During your opponent's resolution phase, you may choose another creature with summoning cost less than or equal to the number of lizard creatures in your graveyard. And you can return that creature to its owner's hand. Computer 2. Draw card. Keep a lot of lizards in the game if you've got them on the board. Summon. Out comes a terraformer. After its attack, after it, the, after Beomorph attacks a creature, it exchanges the field with the target's field. I think he's going to be very bad for Shaman Zolder because I think it's now stood on water. He's dead. Mana charge. Shaman Zolder is a five cost creature, so that is ugh, really not nice. Baymorph is a four cost, though, so I guess it's not too bad. Mana charge. Not really going to mess with the Baymorph now. Summon. <laughs> Flame Guard Recruit being summoned onto a water field. Which means that they're instantly dead. Mana charge. Um Um Computer two. That was probably the biggest Draw dumbass card. thing I've seen in a while. Mana charge. Let's summon this fire creature here to a water. Oh, he's dead. 
And it just lets computer to summon and literally win with a clean board. That really doesn't happen. GG. Computer two wins.